So the book is a result of a three-year research project we've been doing at IID, um, looking at the politics of planning for climate change and low-carbon resilient development in the least developed countries. So it takes four countries as examples, Ethiopia, Rwanda, Nepal and Bangladesh, and explores how policies and programs have started to look at low-carbon resilient development and how ideas, knowledge and politics have shaped how those have moved from planning to implementation. So we feel this book has come at a really important time because following from the Paris Agreement in December, um, there's a real international um, movement and commitment to climate action at the international scale. But what we really need now is national progress. We need governments uh, from different countries to move forward on the commitments they've made internationally to both look at mitigating for climate change, but also very important for the LDCs, adapting and bringing those agenda together um, in a low carbon resilient development future. So it's been really important for us on this project to work closely with national partners. So uh, in Nepal, we've worked with an organisation called Clean Energy Nepal in Ethiopia, that's been ECNOSERV. In Rwanda, a think tank called IPA Rwanda. And in Bangladesh, a variety of organisations, the Bangladesh Centre for Advanced Studies, the Centre for Participatory Research and Development, and ICAD, the International Centre for Climate Change and Development. So working with national partners really helps strengthen the quality of the research. We work closely um, with those teams to ensure that we're really understanding and working within the national context, making sure that the, re the research is relevant for national stakeholders, uh, that our teams on the ground are working with and following processes as they emerge, and we at IID are able to support and work alongside them. So there are many policies and programs um, that we really hope will build both um, low carbon development and also build resilience. But the evidence around how that's achieved and how that might really happen in practice is real, really still emerging. So for example, there are some really interesting programs around solar home systems, using um, solar power for irrigation, different forms of climate resilient infrastructure. But the evidence of how those are both um, low carbon and also building resilience uh, is still being generated, particularly evidence around the co-benefits of different types of approaches and the various trade-offs that might need to be made about prioritising low carbon on the one hand or resilience on the other. So the book looks at the countries that are really at the forefront of this agenda. So they've got some really interesting plans and strategies that have been developed. Ethiopia, for example, has their Climate Resilient Green Economy Strategy. Bangladesh has their Climate Change Strategy and Action Plan. So all of the countries have got a really interesting and exciting plan or strategy in place. And the book really looks at how those strategies are moving forward to implementation and what the challenges might be in um, building a consensus and political will and momentum around taking those through to implementation. So for example, we explore how um, in the area of low carbon resilient development, many stakeholders have got different ideas about how those two agendas might come together and how much they should be integrated. Um, in another chapter, we show how if we look at the financing systems, groups of actors are forming around different ways of financing climate change and those actors need to come together um, to have a shared vision at the national level for how that's going to work in practice. So what we're showing in the book is that there's lots of really exciting ideas and plans and strategies, but as we're moving forward to implementation, how people are working together and the underlying politics is something that also has to be very explicitly understood and built into those implementation processes to ensure that everyone is engaged in what's really a multi-sectoral um, and very pressing national issue. So this book is part of a program of work um, that sits within IID's climate change group. And the program of work more broadly focuses on exploring and understanding national planning processes and financing for low carbon resilient development. And that fits into other work that the climate change group does. It also looks at, for example, the international negotiations or particularly work in dry lands and setting up um, decentralized climate finance systems. This 
book is the result of three years of work and much time, effort and commitment from people here at IID and most particularly from our research partners in Bangladesh, Ethiopia, Rwanda and Nepal. It reflects a wide variety of experiences and we really hope that you enjoy it.